everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another live stream and a very special one today. As you might have heard, WTCR is coming to race room and you can drive the first car already now. And this is what we are gonna do. So there's a competition online right now that you can access in the game. And it's a three round time attack competition with the Audi RS3 TCR on Zandvoort, Hungaroring and the Nürburgring. The Nordschleife to be more exact I think is the third round. Yes it is the 24 hour layout. Because at the Nürburgring there will be uh, the launch event on the 10th of May till the 12th of May which is the weekend of the 24 hour race. So if you're planning to go there, or if you haven't planned so far, but uh, maybe this changes your mind, uh, you should definitely pay a visit to the race room guys uh, in the ring arena. It's going to be a big location with tons of simulators where you can uh, try and qualify, put your best lap time on the leaderboard. And the best 96 drivers will then enter a three round championship and compete for uh, 25,000 euros cash price so definitely gonna pay off if you're gonna go there and uh, put in a good lap time and for that we're gonna start practicing a little bit today in the first round and uh, I think you have to pay to enter these uh, it's like 199 VIP so that's two euros so you can drive the new Audi exclusively in this competition right now and practice for the event if you're planning to go there or if you just want to check out the new car. Tin, you're going to the 24. Nice, and uh, maybe I'll see you there then because uh, I'll probably be there as well. So definitely come say hi if you're there and try your luck. It's not going to be in the race room cafe, no. There will be a location uh, at the Nürburgring just for this event. So let's check out this car. I'm gonna just park it here for a second so we can have a good look at this beautiful Audi RS3 LMS TCR in this eSports livery. This livery is specifically made for this competition. And I think it looks pretty damn good. So what I can tell you guys is that uh, yeah, WTCR is coming to race room. What that exactly means, uh, we will see in the future. Hang on, let me check the volume. I cannot uh, give you any promises on what exactly is included. We're definitely trying to get as many cars as possible in the race from platform and about tracks we'll see. Hi Josef, yeah you should definitely come there. So these are the new WTCR cars, they are a bit different from what they used to be in the WTCC. Not quite as powerful, but a lot of fun nonetheless. And I'm um, really looking forward to the racing with these cars because it's gonna be a very close competition, I'm pretty sure. Um, the physics of these cars, or of this car in, in particular, the Audi, uh, have been developed among, um, with Philip Ellis among others. Philip Ellis, who you might know, has driven the DT Cup and also has just driven this car. And is also driving GT3 cars. He's a close affiliate with Race Room. He's one of our beta testers gives a lot of very good feedback. Hi 
an e-wolf. Let's also have a look at the cockpit, but because there's a nice amount of detail in here. Obviously, I have the steering wheel enabled now, but you can see that's a handbrake, I believe, over there. And let's look a little bit on the outside. There we go. Yeah, I hope so too, that we will get all the teams. Uh, we are working hard on it. We'll do our best. Tracks, uh, I cannot uh, promise you guys anything at this moment. Um, We'll see about that in the future. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome cars, I think, to be in race room. Stream looks uh, all right here, from what I can see. So let's get back into driving, restart this lap and see where we are in the competition on the leaderboard. Brakes are not quite as performant as in the WTCC cars. I have to be on the brake a little bit early. Driving the stock setup for now. Frames are dropping. Hmm, interesting. Let me finish this lap and um, let's see what we can do about that. Probably not much. Regarding sounds, uh, you know that the WTCR has a media and test day right now in Barcelona and our sound guy is there recording sounds. So I'm expecting the usual quality in terms of sounds. Position 6 behind Dorneden and Piringer. Um, yeah, about those, about the performance, not sure what I can do. I can try and restart the stream in 720p instead of 1080. Maybe let's try that. Other than that, I don't know what else I can do. Okay, I'll stop the stream and uh, restart it in 720p. Be right back one minute. <coughs> so I think we're back.
Uh, we should be back. Let's see if this is better for you guys. I'm currently in the default setup. But uh, let's try another lap and then see if we can still improve a little bit or if we can tweak the setup. split up here the rear gets a bit loose sometimes on the brakes Should be a small improvement. Can we beat Ralph? No, I don't think we can. Still P6. Okay. So I hope, guys, the stream is better now. Let me know. Hi Oli. Well, I had to dial the um, FFB multiplier all the way down because uh, this wheel is actually quite strong on default settings. So, yeah, I've, I'm using 1.0 right now. In terms of setups, though, wow, that's some, that's a lot of toe. Wow. What I would like is um, a little more oversteer on the brakes especially. Let's try moving the brake bias more to the rear. Maybe also increase the pressure. And maybe lower this one for more rotation. And what else? What else can we try? We can try lowering the ARB in the front. And max out camber. Maybe. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll find out, I guess. Let's try this. I don't know what to tell you guys about the frame drops. It's, it looks super smooth here. It's sometimes this problem just appears. I don't know where. I don't know why. Rear. 
didn't cost much time though, I believe. here on the entry. Another improvement. I don't know about this setup, guys. little bit of wheel spin but not too much that's a nice improvement P2 Nandori leading right now not bad Let's see what else we can do in the setup. Hmm. The front is washing out a little bit too much. Is it too hard springs or too soft? I'm gonna try lower the front springs a little bit. We can try stiffen the rear. I always forget the rebound if it's softer in the front. Does it help it understeer or does it does it make it oversteer? Hmm. Let's just uh, try it like this for now.
tomorrow. so far Be close. Oh yes, six thousand. Nice. And I break too late for that first corner. <laughs> so definitely went into the right direction with this setup. Maybe we can uh, even improve it some further. What if we lower the spring even more? Give this a try. Definitely rotates more. Feels good, feels good. Not a small improvement. At the event though, I believe you will not be able to adjust your setup. good time. Very good first sector. that up a little bit. Thank you. 
Nice, another tenth. That was too late on the brakes. Can we gain it on the exit now? I wanna try one more thing. Um, maybe I'm trying with a higher preload for, um, you know, a quicker power deliverance. And I wonder what happened if I increase this just a little bit, maybe to 16. Maybe that will give me some more rotation, uh, maybe not, but we'll try. Yeah, the differential is good on the acceleration. Very happy with this setup. My sliders. Cool. So I'm gonna show you the setup one more time. So you can make a screenshot and use it for yourself in the competition. I can uh, show you a replay, yes. Let's see now. Let's get that one, that last quick clap in there. There we go. So that looks pretty nice. Moritz, no, there is no online qualification. You can use this uh, competition, however, to practice. But the on-site event, that's where you can win the prizes, the prize money. And everybody is invited to come there. It will uh, happen over three days. On the first day, it's uh, only qualification on a leaderboard. And the second day as well. And on the third day, you will uh, run the races if you qualified. To qualify you have to be in the top 96 of the leaderboard. And those 96 drivers will then be put in four divisions accordingly. So 
and obviously the prize money will be distributed so division one has a bigger prizes than division two and three and four and so forth so just go there on the date of the 24 hour race on the Nürburgring go to the location of the race room uh, competition and uh, yeah enter the competition there put your best lap time on the leaderboard you have uh, as many choices as you want ob obviously if you want tickets already to enter then you can uh, use those from the esports WTCC in the past those tickets are still valid if not you can just uh, you know pay the entry fee for your qualification and uh, you're in full WTCR grid license well we are working on it cannot promise at this point but uh, we will do our best well I hope so Nicholas Hope to see all the RR VLN drivers at the 24 hour race. I will probably be there. That's currently the plan. So we can meet up. Well, Moritz, um, I think you have pretty high chances to be in Division 1 and uh, get into the spots where you win money because uh, I think the distribution will be fairly spread out. So not only the top guys win a lot of money, but um, all the guys that made it into the tournament, into the championship. Or well, not all the guys, but uh, a fair amount of those participants will win money. I will not be allowed to participate in the event now. <laughs> and I don't think I'm good enough anyway. Shall we try one more time? I'm pretty happy actually with my lap already. This is probably not going to be an improvement. Hey Mark, good lap time you got there. I'm surprised I was uh, able to uh, beat you, but I'm sure you will come back. <laughs> if you want to see the setup I'm using, you can just uh, scroll back. I was showing it in the stream. The info on how the money gets distributed exactly will follow in the coming days. Uh, it still needs to be nailed down how exactly that's going to work. But as I said, it will probably be a pretty widespread, so a lot of people win, uh, win money. Not all the tracks are currently in work for the WTCR now. And to be honest, I doubt that we will see all the tracks, but um, we'll see. Ah, oh, yes, that's, that's a bummer. I mean, you could, if you went to the event, you can use those tickets. 
But if you don't have time, that's uh, unfortunate. Difference to WTCC. So the cars are a little less powerful, but uh, nonetheless a lot of fun to drive. Also maybe a little bit easier to drive, not so critical. But still, they can get very loose on the brakes, so you need to be quite... Um, quite careful with your brakes and how you balance the car with the throttle and stuff like that. They have a little less wheel spin, which is um, nice, I think. And um, yeah, I mean the cars itself, they're a little bit closer to the to the uh, actual series uh, cars, uh, the road cars I mean. TCR all night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Wow, I can't believe we're leading. But it's only 70 guys in there so far. But um, yeah, uh, there's a few candidates Nandori, Rebanak, Fredrickson as well. Both Fredricksons. Don Eden. Piringer, those guys are really quick and I'm sure they will uh, beat my time eventually. I have no doubt about that. So yeah. WTCR coming to the race room. Audi already in there for this competition so you can drive it right away. Hi Sergei. And yeah, this event is a three rounds event. You can see you collect points depending on your position of that round. And at the end, the sum of all points will determine your position in the championship. But uh, to be to compete in the, in the launch event, you don't have to participate here. But it helps, of course, because you can practice. Yeah, I was having a little bit of uh, frame drops today for some reason, I don't know why, so um, I started streaming in 1080, but I had to lower it to 720, and I don't know if it's better now, I hope so. And somebody was asking why I wasn't streaming on Twitch earlier. I was using Twitch in the past, but I uh, never really uh, managed to get the numbers over there. I mean, I'm sure if I c would continue streaming on Twitch every time, I would build those numbers too. But uh, you know, I just have more more followers on uh, YouTube, so that's why I'm streaming here. Don't know how many of you are on Twitch. So these rounds um, will stay open, even if in two weeks the next round starts on Hungaro Ring, you can still try and improve your times in round one. It's also good for people who uh, decide to join later. You can still, until the last day of the, EK, of the online competition, you can uh, compete in all rounds. <laughs> oh, that's the mouse and the keyboard warrior, Sergey. You were in the eSports WTC, weren't you? You did pretty well for for a mouse driver. Oh, 
Ooh, Nandori came close again. <laughs> Nine hundreds. Yeah, as I said, it's only a matter of time until somebody beats my lap time. I have no illusions regarding that. We are very excited as, as well, Flinton Willy. Let's try one more time to improve the lap time, but it's gonna be a tough one. That was too late on the break. I'm not gonna improve like this. Yeah, the online racing will be fantastic in these cars. They are not super fast. That means it will be very, very close, probably. I'm looking forward to see you guys compete in action at the Nürburgring in May. I'll probably be stewarding those races, so you have to be nice. Otherwise, I'll give you a penalty. Regarding which cars are coming, I uh, uh, cannot say yet. We are working on getting as many cars as possible. We will see what's, what, what is possible. How's the handling? Well, it's uh, what you would expect from a front wheel driven car. I don't know actually how much horsepower these guys have. A little less than the WTC cars, obviously. I would rate them like somewhere in between. WTC and TT Cup. This is Sunford, yes, John. Next round in two weeks will be Hungaroring and the last round will be on the Nordschleife 24 hour layout.
Yeah, 350 horsepower, yeah, yeah. You will probably have to get used to the brake a little bit. You cannot brake as late as in the WTCC cars. I'm not exactly sure what type of brakes they're using. It feels like steel brakes to me. I might be wrong. have asked about WTCR and whether or not it's coming to race room and uh, we are really happy to tell you that indeed they are. It is. I told you there was another big announcement coming. Currently, not so focused on improving my lap time because reading the chat that's not gonna work. So, let's uh, look at some more replays here. Nope, this is not the default setup. Uh, you can scroll back to see my setup. I've changed uh, quite a few things. Hi, Josh. So yeah, WTCR has uh, announced their driver lineup, the entry list. Some uh, very famous touring car names in there again. Montero, Coronel, even Giovanardi is coming back. And who else? Chase Plater? No. No, it wasn't. Was it him? Or Gordon Shedden? And uh, what was the other guy's name? Thompson. Yeah, I'm actually, I don't remember where we recorded this car. But as I said earlier, our sound engineer, Anthony, he's currently in Barcelona recording these cars. The WTCR has its um, official test and media day tonight, today. I think the press press uh, conference is going on right now, or was earlier this evening. Ivan Muller is there as well, yeah, indeed. Uh, you can see the car roll very nicely there in the front. Let's see if we can have a little closer look. I like this camera. Very nice livery, but of course we'll, we'll get the official liveries done. I, I think I've read something about Thompson um, today. I don't remember for which team is is uh, driving, but I can probably Google that and find out. It is a good looking car, for sure. And there's a few more cars that are also really good looking in WTCR. 
Yes. Looking forward, Nicholas. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to drive these cars online. The first time you can uh, drive these cars against other guys will be at the Nürburgring during the 24 hour race in May, 10th of May. And you can win a lot of cash too doing so. So if you're, uh, if you think you're good enough, definitely come to the Nürburgring in May. I'll be there, so come say hi if you're there. There's going to be a lot of people competing, 96 drivers in four divisions, so not only the very best of the very best have a chance, but actually almost 100 drivers that uh, yeah, will fight over the prize pool, which is uh, very nice. Um, sum of 25,000 euros. Too bad I cannot participate, otherwise I would. By the way guys, speaking of VRPs, um, Easter is coming up this weekend, so keep your eyes out on the store for some discounts. Lada, yeah, in WTC, we have uh, we have the Granta and the Vesta in race room. I don't think they are in the. I don't think they have a TCR car, do they? But yeah, a lot of manufacturers are embracing this new class, TCR class. They are running these cars all over the world. And of course now with the World Championship, the WTCR, which I think is replacing the TCR International Series. But you have uh, TCR Germany, TCR Asia, TCR UK, TCR Scandinavia, which is the SDCC. And yeah, TCR Benelux and whatnot. So they are literally racing all over the world. I don't know about US, um, how that class is called. Um, I've seen TCR running on uh, Circuit of the Americas last weekend as part of the, uh, what is it called, Pirelli World Championship, whatever, World something, World Star Series. And of course, in all the endurance races, there's a TCR class in most of them as well, like the 24 hours of Dubai, Nürburgring, and so forth. Uh, Daytona as well, I believe, or? Was there a TCR class in Daytona? I think there was, wasn't there? Also on Bathurst, 12 hours, there were TCR cars as well. So it's definitely a very, very popular class right now, and uh, it's yeah, very welcome addition to race room. And uh, yeah, it's we're gonna be, I think, the only sim that has TCR cars. There might be one or two car here and there in some titles, but uh, yeah.
Well, not everything in, in the world is for free. And if you think 2 euros is overpriced, then I don't know. You can have your opinions, of course. I mean, the Audi is probably one of my favorites from that TCR class. There are a few others that are looking really, really good. I also like the Volkswagen. But also the Honda. Seat. Hello? Hello there. Hello. How are you? We're live. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've uh, actually posted in the in the chat this time. Yeah. Okay. There you are. Oh yeah, didn't see it. Hey, I'm currently leading. Can you believe that? Yeah, I call cheats. <laughs> I did, uh, yeah, quite a few modifications to the setup, though. It's quite interesting that uh, actually um, quite a full leaderboard already. Mm -hmm. Ninety drivers. Just yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it will fill up even more quite quickly and uh, I will lose my pole position. <laughs> I hope we see the same number of people at the event. That would be pretty nice. Uh, it's going to be more than that, hopefully. Otherwise, every, course, everybody will the, win. <laughs> the twenty, the 200,000 people from the 24-hour race. Because... That's right. So are you driving or...? I'm just uh, installing the update. Okay. And then I beat your time. Don't. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I can, to be honest. But... I think you will. So, everybody in the chat, uh, Robert Wiesmuller just joined me on Discord. He is uh, one of the masterminds behind this uh, competition, or at least in the execution. So. He will also not be part of the event as a driver, but uh, we will probably meet him there as well if you're going there. I mean, that's a, if that isn't an incentive enough. Exactly. To, to fly to Germany, <laughs> to go to the Nürburgring, then I don't Frederickson is now on P2. Which one? Was it Robert or Frederickson? Robin. Yeah. I mean, he drives the TCR car in real life, so. Oh, that's right. In uh, Scandinavia, or? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. That's no surprise, just shows that uh, Alex was uh, pretty accurate. Yep. I'm gonna try one more time to improve, but I think I'm I'm already on my limit. No, I need to add. Uh, 
happy to have VRP. You don't have VRPs? No, I need to print some VRPs. <laughs> Hundreds better right now. Ah, I missed that this chicken. Have you already found something out about the setup? Yes. I found out that the setup that I'm currently using is putting me on P1. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll tell you in a second what I changed. Just to try out one lap like this and then see. Yeah. It's a bit under serious, isn't it? Yeah. I'm get the I made the anti roll by in the front soft and stiff in the rear. I also made the spring softer and in the front and stiffer in the rear. Okay. And I did move the brake balance uh, more to the rear as well. And increase it to 100%. Okay. That's interesting because I feel like it's, it's actually possible here now to, to lock up the brakes. Yeah, so I did move it more to the rear because I was getting I think, front lockups. Yeah. It, it definitely helped with the understeer going into the corner. I 
did max out the camber, but I don't know if that was if that did anything. I usually have them to go in the other direction on race room. Yeah. I mean, all I know is that uh, I, I managed a good lap time with this setup, so... I managed to go on P38. Mm -hmm. so, on default. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a bit of a room so, for improvement. But I'm faster than Kevin Leon, so... <laughs> I did not Maybe. change the toe in, and I did not change the bump and rebound. Springs, like I said, super soft in the front, super stiff in the rear, camera maxed out, no changes to right height, and roll bar same, soft in front, yeah, stiff in the rear. Thank you. When you will be able to purchase these cars, um, probably after the event uh, at some point, so after me. Um, I mean, obviously, we still have to produce the cars. What you see now is the Audi, which is the first car that is uh, ready. And then we will see what other cars will join after that and when they will be available. I actually also did uh, increase the steering lock on this one. I went up to 16, but you probably use your own settings there anyway. I use the uh, most aggressive steering settings. You can find. First thing <laughs> yeah. I did is put this car on the maximum steering lock. Yeah. I don't know, I can't drive like that, but yeah. I think you drive like it's a... I mean... Like a bus, you know? Well... Just turn and turn and turn. My arms would get very long. If I do that. It's probably better, like, the way you do it. And the... When I would definitely argue that it's more realistic. Whether it's quicker or not, I guess it depends on the driver and what you're used to. Yeah. I think in the end you will always have a bit better tire wear because you can just be more precise. But that probably I say yeah. it's, a, it's a big issue when mm. I try to save the car. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the higher the steering lock, uh, the more twitchy it gets. Yeah, but you also, you can react quicker if you... Yeah, it's also easier to overreact, huh? I'm really at the limit of what I can do, I think. Maybe I can improve one tenth more, but that's it. What's your time? What is 6.4? That's pretty good. Do you remember what these cars were driving here in real life? I think 46, actually. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, let me check. And then I also put your setup. Uh, they, I think they use uh, UP as well, right? They have to. 
sure if it's the same in the different championships. Well, on the TCR Germany, my Calder was in pole at 46-1. Oh, nice. I'm sure somebody will match that lap time. Probably oh, not me, though. It's pretty accurate, right? Yeah. You probably already mentioned that, but uh, we had Philip Ellis, of course. Yeah, I already mentioned that. that. Oh yeah, I also increased the differential preload to 3. And you put the springs in the rear hard, right? In the front soft. Yeah, the springs soft in front, soft in the rear, all the way. And the wing, you put on minus two? Or zero? Oh, you can go below zero? Yes. I didn't even realize. Uh, min minus two. No, I'm on zero, default. But I wonder what happens if I change that. Hi, Probably go a bit faster on the straight. That would make sense. But is it going to be quicker overlap? Let's find out. So, wow, minus two degrees. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try this. KG Baron, as uh, yeah, as I just mentioned, uh, Philip Ellis was one of the physics consultants for this car but of course we also get a lot of data from the manufacturers I need it to just... a lot better on your setup. Yeah, it does. Let's, let's understand. I need to adjust my seat so I can see the split time and I don't have to peek over my wheel constantly. Let's go with this. No, Fredrickson beat my time. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. Coming to get you, Georg. You so too. Now, I, don't, I don't have you yet. I probably need like... Two hours or so. Oh god, oh god, I got ten now. I saw Alex also drove already. Mm -hmm. Hodgkinson? No, uh, Donnie. Actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. The champ from last season here when we did it with the Derby. Yeah, I was surprised that I beat him. He probably didn't do many laps yet. Yeah, with less wing, uh, it does come at a price. Very oversteer in the fast corners.
I'm not sure I like this wing setting. You can just give a little bit of throttle to stabilize it in the fast corners. Nandori beat me too now. There goes my P1. Wow, nice yeah. one. And Hebel is on second. That's a nice second. You know, Georg, hmm? I'm so sad that I can't drive at the event. <laughs> I would love this. Yeah. I mean, like, also, for if anyone's like wondering if he wants to go. If you're just like sitting there in the simulator and you try to beat the time of someone, and that other guy that sits right next to you, it's just so much better. You know? <laughs> this is. I mean, it's already cool when you do it online, especially when you're on TeamSpeak or Discord. But then when you just. just this battle face to face, you know, if it's a leaderboard or even better in the race, I mean. It yeah. just makes it so more awesome. That is true. People so usually yeah. also drive a little bit more respectfully if you're in the same room. Yeah, sometimes. I heard, heard a story at the racing cafe. You know the racing cafe at the Nürburgring thing from yeah. Finland. It's like a, you know, it's a cafe, but he also has 20 or I think 26 now already. 26 simulators there with a race room, and you can go and drive races. And sometimes he's, he's organizing special events. And there was one of these special events when they did the endurance race, and one driver got held up when he was trying to lap someone, mm -hmm. and he got so angry that he threw his shoe. At the other guy. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Then he got banned from the place. Right? <laughs> Holy cow. So, what wing were you driving then? Minus two. Minus two. Hmm. Oh shit, looking at the leaderboard online, there's a quite a few guys now ahead of me. I'm B6 right there. Wiesmüller, Hebel, Fredrickson, Fredrickson, Harvick, Ordner. That's only two tenths though. Yeah, but I have the feeling that this time will be P1 for like maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. I wonder if somebody will do 45s, probably. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's also that, of course, it will always be a bit quicker on a leaderboard than in real life, because you, you can just try more, and it doesn't matter if you crash a few times. And Yeah. So you can, and of course, setup changes go much quicker. Mm. Yeah. So it's not really a surprise if it's a bit f uh, faster. But I think the general region of the lap times is, you know, it's very, very accurate. It is. Okay, now it caught up. I'm um, position seven. Need to 
focus for another lap. Let's see if we can if I can improve. nothing it's very close though already in the front Small improvement. Yeah, there's definitely still room for improvement for me a little bit with this setup now. Try one more time.
time. I feel like I have two tents in me still, but I need to get it together perfectly.
try one more time. Come on, let's do this. Ah, that was too late. Too late on the brakes. I think the setup is good. It's uh, I'm making mistakes, but um, I have a tent or two in me somewhere. Exactly the same time again. Okay, that was good. Third gear in first corner. Throw it away again. Maybe this corner is third gear as well. Focus one more time, come on.
9,000 Swap. <laughs> ahead or behind? Ahead of you. Oh, and I already shut it down. <laughs> yeah, let's start it back up again. No, no, don't do that. <coughs> I found out it's, it's some some guy that I've never heard of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably. But I found out that uh, driving first corner and third gear is much better than second gear. And yeah, okay. That's interesting. Like maybe you can do it in a lot of corners then, if the car has a lot of uh, torque. You know, there's also this left-hander that leads back to the short straight before yes. the right-left chicane. Yeah. That one I also took in third gear, but uh, it wasn't much quicker. But the first corner made a huge difference to me. Okay. I used to drive it in second gear. And now I did it in no, third gear. Cool. Gained one tenth only there. Thanks, Bimmer. Thanks, all boy. I can show you again the car setup, guys. Yeah, it's very tight, and uh, <laughs> guys will still improve. It's only been an hour or two since the competition is online, and it will be online until May, mid of May. So we will see some crazy lap times, I bet. But I'm really happy with this lap and with this position right now. Right. I've already loaded back in. Yeah, it's only 9,000. 9,000, so <laughs> you don't have to improve much. Oh no, I didn't save the setup. <laughs> Over a hundred guys now in this competition. Fredrickson is only uh, 15 hundreds behind me now. Yeah. He's joining in as well. <laughs> yeah. Top five are all within one tenth. It's crazy. Anyway, guys, I think this will uh, wrap it up for tonight. Let's uh, wrap the stream up as long as I'm still leading. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not gonna stay long. Maybe I'll wait for Rob to improve if he manages in the first couple of laps. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you are as excited as we are about WTCR coming to the race room and this uh, yeah huge competition with uh, 25,000 euros worth of cash prizes. So definitely come to the Nürburgring guys on the 10th of May until the 12th of May which is when the 24 hour race is happening there so it's worth a visit for sure and I'll probably be there, Rob is gonna be there, Jay probably, a lot of guys from race room so come say hello, uh, join the competition, there's gonna be 96 drivers that qualify for the final races so there's a good chance if you're a decent driver to be able to race division one two three or four depending where you're gonna make it in and all these divisions will make or will win the money so it's gonna be interesting 
and definitely worth for you coming there. And for now, go ahead and uh, join this online competition. You can drive the Audi TCR exclusively right now. Round 1 currently in Sandford. Round 2 starts in 2 weeks I believe. Yes it does. On the Hungaro ring. And finally on the Nordschleife in, in 3, no 4 weeks. But all these rounds are gonna stay open, so you can join them anytime. So even if you're just uh, joining very late into the competition, you can still try and uh, set a good lap time in each of those rounds. And at the end, we will see who will be in the front. But uh, apart from this online competition, everybody can join on the on the event at the Nurburgring. So stay tuned for more information regarding that one. And uh, hopefully see you there, guys. For today, I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.